Hey guys, this is Craig Migliaccio with AC Service Tech, and today what we're going over is how does a sequencer work and how do you troubleshoot it? So these can be referred to as heat sequencers or fan sequencers, and this is a two-switch model right here. We also have a single-switch model right here. This video is sponsored by our friends over at Danfoss, and we have a link to their free e-lessons down in the description section below. So here we have two sequencers, and this one is a two-level one. So you have two sets of normally open contacts. The one set is between one and three, and the other set is between four and five. And then down here you have these tabs are connected to a pan heater, and inside the pan you have a thermo disk. So what happens is when you apply power to the pan heater, it's going to heat up the pan and the thermo disk is going to flex. And on top of the thermo disk you have a rod that comes up to one and three, and another rod that comes up to four and five. So that rod is going to normally open the contacts between 5 and 4 and 3 and 1. When the, the pan gets heated up and the thermodisc flexes, the rod is going to then move down along with the, the middle of the thermodisc, and it's going to close the contacts between 3 and 1, and then it's going to also close the contacts between 5 and 4. Now that rod is a little offset from each other, so there's two rods side by side, and there's going to be these time requirements, so 1 to 3 is going to be a different time requirement than 4 to 5, just because of the position of the two rods inside. So up here at the top you see 4 to 5, and then next to it you see H1-20. So what that means is that it's going to take 1 to 20 seconds for these contacts right here to close after powering the sequencer. After you disconnect the power down here, it's going to take 40 to 120 seconds for these contacts to open back up again. So just say you started it at no power here and you're going to go ahead and power this. The second level of contacts is going to take 30 to 90 seconds for those contacts to close. And then when you take the power off the pan heater, it's going to only take 1 to 30 seconds for these contacts to open back up again. So this works just the same way. It just has one set of contacts with one set of time requirements. So this transformer is not powered, even though it's connected, it's not powered. I just want to go ahead and show you what this little plate looks like and the thermo disk. So you have your 24 volts coming over to this piece of brass and it's touching this right here, which is your heater for your pan. And then this little thermo disk is actually pointed upwards in the middle right here and just sits right in the pan. As it heats up, it's going to then make a noise. It's going to go boom and it's going to tilt the the this part inwards okay so I can press it in by my hand just like that so that's what makes up the bottom part and then this thermo disc pushes up on the rods so you see these two rods right here so the short rod goes up to the first set of contacts and the longer rod goes up to the second part of contacts so in this case right here this is the first set of contacts we'll just take the short rod and the short rod is going to Normally it's going to be pushing up on this contact just like this, and that's how it's going to be when it's not powered with 24 volts. Uh, after you power it and you wait the period of time, what it's going to do is it's going to allow that contact to then close the electrical circuit. So this is not powered, and this is powered after the time requirement. The second rod goes right in the middle, so it goes right through and then it gets up to the, the top set of contacts. So you see you have that second rod in now, and it's normally going to be like this. They're normally both going to be pushed inwards. And so you have the contacts in the top. They're open until you power the sequencer and then wait for the allotted amount of time. Then it's going to close the contacts. So you see how it can open the contacts or close the contacts. So I want you to see this right here. This is a plate that covered over top of this. You can see the burn marks right on there. And this contact right here is actually pitted and burnt. So it's no longer making a good connection from one side to the other. Now we're going to power the pan heater and we're going to see how long it takes for the thermo disc to go ahead and pop. Now we'll disconnect our 24 volts. So in reference to troubleshooting, you can check to make sure that you don't have OL from one point to the other point for where you're going to connect your 24 volts at. 
basically all you're doing is you're checking the resistance value of this little pan heater and you're checking it from one side to the other. So maybe one of these little brass parts right here melted or something like that and that's why you read OL. Oh well. If that's the case, the sequencer is no good. In reference to troubleshooting the normally open sets of contacts such as from 4 to 5 and 1 to 3, you're just going to go ahead and hook your multimeter up across those contacts. Make sure you disconnect your your wires off of that first with the power off and then you're just going to check this with the resistance. So right now you see that we're reading OL which means over limit or open line and that means that those contacts are not connected. So we're just going to go ahead and time it to see how long it takes to close those contacts when we apply 24 volts to it. So over here at the top you see 4 to 5 it takes 1 to 20 seconds for those contacts to close and then it takes 40 seconds to 120 seconds for those set of contacts to go ahead and open back up again. So here we go. So what's happening now is you just have that little pan heater is heating up the thermo disk. So it really shouldn't take long, and there you go. So we're reading zero ohms of resistance across the contacts, and now let's go ahead and see how long it takes for the contacts to open back up again. We've disconnected the power now. There you go. That was on the lower end of the 40 to 120 seconds. So that was probably right around 35 seconds or so. But you see that we are no longer connected on those contacts between 4 and 5. So right now the sequencer is not powered. We're going to go ahead and power it again with 24 volts. We're going to read 0, 0.0 ohms of resistance after the allotted time requirement. And this one is 1 to 20 seconds. But then after that I'm going to switch the probes down to the lower level and that one is supposed to close between 30 and 90 seconds. So you're going to notice that they're not going to both close at the same time. You have to follow these time requirements, and that's because the rod is slightly offset from the other one when it's sitting on top of the bimetal disc. Okay, so now it clicked. We're going to go ahead and move these down to the lower level. And you see that we're reading oh well. So now we're reading 0, 0.0 ohms of resistance. I'm going to go ahead and disconnect the power. And on this lower level right here between 1 and 3, it should open the electrical circuit up a lot faster than between 4 and 5 at the top. So here we go. Now we're going to go ahead and switch these because these ones are likely still going to be connected up top. So that's how you troubleshoot these. You just go ahead and apply voltage and then make sure that when these are closed, you're reading 0, 0.0 ohms of resistance and it's meeting the time requirement, as well with the uh, power off, the 24 volts off of the pan heater. You can check the resistance value of that down there. Make sure that you're not reading OL. Well. If you're looking for the multimeter or the other tools I use out in the field, I have them all linked down in the description section below. If you want to help support this HVACR training channel, click here. If you want to subscribe, click here. And if you want to see another HVACR training video, click right here. Hope you enjoyed yourself, and we'll see you next time at AC Service Tech Channel.